Okay, so this is a smile procedure, and it's important to talk about it because it's hyped a lot. The reason I say hyped is in the industry, the ophthalmology meetings, a lot of doctors are asking other doctors, hey, are you doing a smile? And I asked the doctor in New York who was doing this. I've done it myself, by the way, and he was honest with me, and he said, look, it's really kind of a little bit of a bait and switch. We advertise for a smile, we get them in, and we do a different procedure. Okay, so why are more doctors not doing a smile, and why are doctors doing a smile only doing it for like 10 or 20% of their cases? Well, hopefully, as this video shows, it's major surgery. I mean, you're talking about make, making a huge incision in the eye and taking out a piece of cornea. So now you can see the pocket has been made with a laser. Now the surgeon is taking a little, um, it's like a spatula, and dissecting out a piece of cornea that's going to get removed and thrown out. So I guess if you want a piece of your cornea just removed and thrown in the garbage can, I guess you can get smile. It's not the most elegant procedure. You can see there's a lot of stuff going on here. And you know, I do understand that, you know, the people watching this are lay people, they're not surgeons, but you have to understand from a lay point of view, this is major surgery. It's it's really not the same as a laser. The laser is outside of the eye and therefore it could be done in a semi-sterile ASC, like a laser center. Smile is really starting to get to be like cataract surgery where it has to be sterile because you can see we're inside the eye pretty much. This is inside the cornea. Um, so what are the advantages of smile? Well, it's supposed to cause less dry eyes than LASIK, which is the older cutting procedure, because the uh, incision plane is more superficial, so uh, supposedly you're preserving some of the corneal nerves and you get less dry eyes. However, as anybody can see, even the layperson, this is a much more invasive procedure, and you're gonna kill much more nerves than you would in the surface procedures, which are again PRK, LASIK, or EpiLASIK. So if you have dry eyes, you really should get a surface procedure, laser procedure, not one of the corneal cutting procedures, and you, you shouldn't do smile. Smile also can't correct many, many things. You can't correct astigmatism very well with smile, and you can't correct hyperopia at all, because you would have to take out a donut of tissue. You'd have to remove a piece of tissue that looks like a donut, and that's not physically possible. Now you can see this, the surgeon's going in there trying to find this piece of uh, cornea that got separated with the laser, which is not that easy to find. That's why he's having difficulty identifying it. And then you're gonna see he's gonna take the forceps and pull it out and throw it out. So um, it's a longer procedure. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable as it's being done because the eye's numbed up, but you know what I'm saying. You're not, you're not typically having a companion in the OR watching this because they would, you know, they get grossed out. Um, we have companions at Park Avenue LASIK watching the LASIK and EpiLASIK procedures because it's just a laser. It's very clean and simple. It's not gross. And now you can see the surgeon's taking it out. He's putting it on top to identify he got all of it out and it's not like in little pieces. And then he's going to just throw it out. Okay, and then the rest of the procedure, he's just going to irrigate with some saline inside to make sure there's not debris inside that little pocket. And then he's going to, that's what he's doing now, that's underneath the cornea on the flap. It's like a little pocket. And then he's going to put some more on top and smooth it out, and that's it. So you can't treat high degrees of uh, myopia because you take out too much tissue. You can't treat high degrees of astigmatism. You can't treat hyperopia at all. So the smile has a very limited indication, and that's why in the industry, uh, really most people doing this are saying it's just a way to get the person into the door, and they wind up doing a different procedure.